What's up, LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to X Life, where I logged in today to experience yet another death at the hands of the life binding curse. This is actually the third time my magical curse on Jack has backfired on me, and now I'm stuck with these tragic yellow hearts. Well, I will have my revenge, and let's just say, I won't be keeping these yellow hearts for very long. So in case I didn't make it clear already, my plan is to kill Jack, thus removing him from the server entirely. There's just one small hiccup we need to sort out first. Apparently, this man wrote a will with some concerning details. So under the cover of darkness, I'm heading over to his house to do some snooping around. My goodness. Did this man ever organize his chests? This kind of disorganization should be a crime. How am I meant to find anything in here? Oh, <gasps> here it is. Last will and testament. I, Jeremy slash Jack Sucks at Life, resident of X Life, hereby declare this document as my last will and testament. In the likely event of my death, this document must be used to grant my final wishes. I hereby declare Smajor and CPK as my executors, responsible for making sure my wishes are granted. Number one, I would like a small funeral service to be held in the Church of Jeremy, with as many X-Life members as possible. I would like Lizzie to be tied to the large tree outside the church and sacrifice as the tree burns down and everyone watches. This man is a psycho. What else does he want? Number two, I wish for Joel to take care of my three Vikrams. I would also like him to build a small hut for Vikram to live out the rest of his days in peace, far away from the impending doom the X-Life server faces. Number three, I wish for Jimmy Solidarity to be executed for doing a bad job of fixing my stuff he burnt down. Number four, I wish for Lizzie, LD Shadow Lady, to take care of all my remaining animals. She must transport them with care from my area to her house. Every animal, including Lobby T and Pauline. She must make sure they are well fed and happy. Sort of a bizarre request, but okay. He wants something from Callum, Fwip, Catherine, Megan, Quig. And he wishes for someone to kill Gemini Tay because she's still on one heart. Oh dear. The contents of this will are indeed very disturbing. And in the likely event of Jack's death, it's important that nobody ever finds this. So I'm going to hide it away. And I know the perfect place. So tucked away, in fact, that even I forget it exists sometimes. Yes, I'm referring to, of course, my secret library. I'll just pop this in here, never to be seen again. And now I will write a fake will. Last will and testament in the likely and unsuspicious event of my death. This document should be used to grant my final wishes. I hereby declare that Smajor and CPK are the executors of this will. Number one, the sole heir of my diamond stash is LD Shadow Lady. Number two, all buildings are left to smallish beans and flip in joint ownership. Jimmy gets. Pauline and Lobby T. CPK receives my Jeremyism robes. Quig receives the farming rights to my land. As last remaining one hearter, Jem receives my undying praise. Megan can have my candle collection. Now, who am I missing? Ah, Catherine. Catherine may use my lands for sheep grazing. There. I think that's a pretty convincing forgery. Now we just need to swap out the wills, leaving this one in place of the old one, and that solves that problem. And now all I have to do is kill Jack. And since I am a witch of the coven, I'm gonna do it in true witch style. I'm going to lure him to a candy-filled house in the countryside, and then I'm gonna bake him in an oven. So we'll go and look for a spot of wilderness nearby Jack's house. We can lead him out the back here through the swamp, perhaps, and into the dark forest. This is perfect. Let's just clear some space for the candy house. There we go. Now, since it is instrumental to my plan, I'm gonna start by building a huge oven, which I shall bake him in. Ta-da! The death oven. Except it's not all that dangerous. It's actually super safe. But now we need to rig it to bring death. So I'm adding some redstone to activate. Aha. It's not exactly magic, but it will definitely do the job. So now all we have to do is place some lava down there and he'll be cooked alive. But we do kind of need to build a big giant candy house to lure him in now. I'm thinking gingerbread vibes. Now I know this looks really brown right now, but I promise it's going to look delectable when we're finished. Even the floor is looking like tasty chocolate. Okay, now it's looking a little bit hideous. So 
I should probably fix this. Two hours later. Okay, that is looking better and it's already working. This guy's fallen right into my trap already. What a fool. I think this is gonna work perfectly once it's all decorated. So next we need to cover it in candy. For that, I'm gonna use all my colorful dye presses to make some rainbow colors. So we have some purple sweets, some of these yellow sweets, pink turquoisey ones as well. How adorable is this? They look like little sweeties. And now I think we need to make some candy canes. So I've got some red and some white. And next I got some of these lollies to use as decorations. And I changed them all to different colors. These are so cute, oh my gosh. And the final touch for the outside, I'm gonna add some fairy lights like so. Now all we have to do is decorate the inside so it looks a little bit less suspicious. I'm gonna make some oak trap doors because they kind of look like chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. And this right here is Jack's life history book. I thought that was a cruel little detail to add in here. Now, I also decorated the rest of the room. Now, the last finishing touch is to put the lava in the oven and hope that it doesn't burn everything down. Ta-da! Oh, please. I think it's fine. Let's close that up and the trap is set. All we need to do now is lure Jack over to the candy house. So I think a bunch of rainbow carpet should do the trick. That would certainly entice me anyway. We'll even lead it across the swamp here like this. Nothing suspicious about this whatsoever. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. His house is over here. Oops. Guess we're taking the long way around. At least he'll be getting a good exercise before his untimely demise. Ah! Oh my gosh! A fish is eating me. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, I'm so glad that wasn't how I died. That would have been embarrassing. Okay, finally we made it. So let's put a little sign here pointing this way. And now we return to the candy house. But if he gets here and he realizes that it's me waiting for him, he might get a little suspicious. So I have a plan. Ta-da! I changed my skin to look all innocent and cute so that he won't suspect that I'm up to no good. Now all we have to do is wait. The next day. Should we open the door? Oh. oh. Hello, Jack. Hi, Lizzie. What a coincidence that you found me here in my candy house. This is really nice. What a, what a quaint little home you've got. Thank you. Come on in. Come on in. I was actually just baking a cake. <laughs> right? Would you like some cake, Jack? Yeah, I've got, I've got a couple of hunger bars. I could have some cake. Or well, it's almost ready. Why don't you go into the oven and grab the cake for me? Do you want me to, me to go in the oven? Yes, it's just it's right you, at the back there. I can't see it, Lizzie. Keep, keep going. Just reach right into the back of the oven. Um... Yeah, that's what you get for ruining my three lives. <laughs> Lizzie, Lizzie, I'm on half health. I'm gonna die in my series alert. Good you, riddance. You oh, I'll die too. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh. Stop. Oh, what a This is it for me. <gasps> it was worth it. <laughs>